I'm Mark Klebeck. I'm Michael Klebeck. And we're brothers and also co-founders of Top Pot Donuts. When we first started, it was 2000 and we had this idea that we had a coffee shop but we wanted to bring donuts into the mix. It wasn't really being done in Seattle and we thought, you know, this would be just the perfect opportunity to open a store and, and just make it go with donuts. People would come up to us and they love the donuts, but they wanted to, you know, all the particulars, you know, what kind of oil, you know, what are the ingredients, you know, could I make this at home? We thought, yeah, you could probably make this at home. I'm Jess Thompson. I'm a Seattle-based recipe developer and cookbook author. I've been working with Mark and Michael on the Top Pot Donut Cookbook. We had a great start with Jess and we hit it off right off the bat. She was someone who really understood the culture of our company. When I met Mark and Michael, I was really enthralled with how their combined energy makes the company run. Top Pot is a place that has a wonderful design and it, it really shines through in each donut, in each service experience. I felt that the energy between them was so strong that I would be able to convey that in the book. The idea of when we were building our stores and we were building cabinetry and we were doing the trazo floors, this idea of, of having a hand-forged donut really came into being because we were actually thinking we need to make these ourselves. They need to be made fresh each day in the cafe. And so the idea of bringing the hand-forged donut into a person's home, this book really brings that to light. One of my goals writing this book was to make it really approachable to everyone. And in doing so, I knew I needed to use tools that people had at home. In the book, I sort of found tools that people could use as substitutes for what Top Pot has. For example, Top Pot uses rolling pins to roll their dough out often. I have a friend who was testing the recipes for me and she used a wine bottle. Top Pot uses these very specific wooden tools to turn the donuts and the bakers are very skilled at turning them really, really quickly. Uh, at home, I just use wooden chopsticks. So I think the book does a really good job of sort of inviting people to make donuts and allaying their fears that they might not have a well enough equipped kitchen. We started with the basics. We started creating a little bit of the designer donuts, the pink feather boa, the raspberry bullseye, the classic old fashioned, which I love because the way I always see it is it's the donut you can you know throw across the room and it still looks great. I think one of my favorite parts about writing this book was making the powdered sugar minis uh, when I could take the donuts hot from the fryer and put them into a paper bag and my son who's two could shake them up with the powdered sugar and it's so exciting for me to think that he'll grow up being able to make donuts at home and he'll, he'll have that hands-on experience and it really excites me to know that the book will allow people to do that at home and, and they don't have to be scared of making donuts at home. They don't have to be nervous about not having the right utensils. This book really uh, allows people to have the Top Pot experience in their own kitchen. So when Michael and I started making donuts, it would have been so much easier to have had a book to go through recipe by recipe and have the success. The idea was that we were making the mistakes, we were learning how to do it in our own way that was different than the standard, and so we've been able to incorporate those little secrets and nuances to make the special donuts uh, the way that Top Pot makes them. We're giving away the secrets? Just a few of them. Okay. 